Mumbai, a megapolis, a city of dreams, is also known as the financial capital of India. It houses approximately 1 crore citizens and equal number of people commute to the city on a daily basis. To keep the city running and manage the civic affairs is the business of the oldest urban local body in India known as Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. Mega cities like Mumbai operate Manganus Utilities 24 by 7 throughout the year including water supply system, storm water pumping stations, sewage systems, hospitals, schools and other civic amenities. These utilities consume a lot of energy and put an additional stress on fossil fuels which increases Mumbai's carbon footprint. Climate change and the immediate need to reduce carbon footprint are driving city visionaries and decision makers towards adopting global strategies to promote uptake of renewable energy. As part of Mumbai's energy security program, MCGM intends to harness potential renewable energy sources or its assets such as water reservoirs owned and maintained by it. MCGM has constructed the middle Vaitarna Dam on Vaitarna River in the year 2014 known as Hindu Hridaya Samrat Bara Sahib Thakri Middle Vaitarna Dam. The dam site is approximately 120 kilometers from Mumbai and 30 kilometers from Egatpuri railway station. Lies in Mukhada Tehsil under district Palghar, Maharashtra. Middle Vaitarna Dam is the third tallest dam in Maharashtra at 102.4 meters from riverbed and is made of roller compacted concrete. Middle Vaitarna Reservoir offers a potential site for hydroelectric power generation as it has availability of water storage and hydraulic head. Water release from the reservoir can be routed through the proposed powerhouse located at the toe of the dam. MCGM has planned construction of hybrid renewable energy source consisting of 20 megawatt capacity hydroelectric power plant and 80 megawatt floating solar power plant for annual generation of 68 million units and 140 million units respectively at Hindu Hriday Samrat Bara Sahib Thakri Middle Vaitarna Dam. The project has been structured on the principles of hydroelectric power generation. This enables MCGM to leverage the inherent advantage of being able to start generation with less turnaround time to meet peak hour power demand. Hybridization allows floating solar panels to produce solar energy during the day while complementing hydroelectric power generation during intermittent times when there is no sunlight and during night time. Another great advantage of installing floating solar power plant and hydro power plant is the benefit of using common power evacuation infrastructure including high voltage grid access and transformation devices which drastically lowers the overall capital cost. MCGM adopted the competitive bidding process with reverse e-auction to select the generation agency. A consortium of well-established and experienced companies Mahalakshmi, Konal Urja Private Limited and Shapurji Palanji and Company Private Limited which formed a special purpose vehicle company Vaitarna Solar Hydro Pavajenko Private Limited to execute the project. Power from this project will be generated at a levelized tariff Rs 4.75 per kilowatt hour. This tariff will remain constant for the next 25 years. 
MCGM intends to generate, evacuate and consume for its own captive use under Open Access Policy of Merck 2016. Under this policy, every consumer with a contract demand of 1 megawatt or more will be eligible under Open Access. This has enabled large consumers of electricity to generate at one place and consume at other. MCGM has a power demand of approximately 350 million units per annum for its water supply facilities. MCGM proposes to use this renewable energy at their Pise and Panzerpur water supply facilities. This will result in net saving of approximately Rs 23 to 25 crores per annum. The pathway to achieve net neutrality is long and arduous one. By setting up this hybrid power plant harnessing renewable resources, MCGM has taken the first but a concrete step towards making Mumbai a net zero city.